Away from that, a student was shot dead following a shootout by police officers in Juakali area in Kisumu town on Tuesday. According to eyewitnesses, traffic police officers opened fire at a public service vehicle after engaging in an altercation with the driver of the same vehicle. The 19-year-old student, who was a pillion passenger, was shot dead during the fracas with three other people, including the rider of the motorcycle, nursing gunshot wounds. And as Loro Tino now reports, property of an unknown value was destroyed as an irate mob vandalized shops and tried to gain entry into the Kisumu Central Police Station. The Jomo Kenyatta Highway in Kisumu was a battlefield for the better part of Tuesday morning as police engaged an angry mob in running battles. The mob had built up from Juakali area after traffic officers from the Kisumu roundabout allegedly shot dead one woman following a disagreement between the officers and the driver of a public service vehicle. The 19-year-old woman who has since been identified as a student at Rangala Girls High School was a pillion passenger and was headed towards the town center at the time of the incident. Property of a known value was also destroyed as rioters tried to access the Kisumu Central Police Station. Police used tear gas to disperse the crowd, with Nyanza Regional Traffic Commander Joseph Nganga revealing that two officers have already recorded statements that will facilitate investigations into the incident. Area leaders have condemned the incident, calling on the Independent Policing and Oversight Authority to investigate allegations of excessive use of force by police in Kisumu. The police traffic has got a role, a role to control, a role to guide the traffic. But to shoot the innocent people is not acceptable in Kenya today. I want to condemn this in the strongest terms. The body of the deceased was moved to the Jaramogio Gingaudinga Mog, awaiting a post-mortem examination on Wednesday. Laura Citizen TV.